Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Cook It Up and Explore. And I know this busy Thanksgiving holiday is up on us, so I am going to start doing some recipes that you can use for your Thanksgiving dinner. And what I'm starting off with is homemade dinner rolls, which I've never been able to make. So you're coming on this journey with me and we're either going to make it or we are not. So let's get started. Let me put you down here. Okay, so here we go. First, it says to combine, I hope, well, it says to whisk together warm milk and yeast and a tablespoon of sugar in a bowl of your stand mixer. So, let's get doing that. Take this off. And I already took it off. Okay, so I'm going to put warm milk and yeast, but first what I'm going to do is because the milk is going to make the yeast rise. Now, I'm telling you, I have never been a maker of rolls. I can bake you a cake and anything else you need, but this right here, no. But we're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna put in my yeast and my milk. And I'm going to put in a tablespoon of sugar. So, which is probably half of this. I'm using my shot glasses today <laughs> because it's just easier to use. So, I'm going to put in this. And I'm going to let my. And I'm going to bend it on slow. Just until it incorporates together. So it's blending, 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 blending. Okay, so after you blend it together, it says to cover and let it set for five minutes. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting a clean dish towel over and we're going to let it set and see what happens. Okay, I've let my mixture set and what I'm getting ready to do is to add the re other remaining ingredients that goes into the dough. So I'm starting off with four tablespoons of butter, which I love using butter. And then I'm gonna add the remaining amount of my sugar. And then I'm gonna add my salt, which is already measured out of my shot glass. And then to this mixture, I'm going to add only a cup of flour. So let me make sure that I get a cup in there. Oh, wait a minute. Let's add a cup of flour. Put it in so that we can get it in. Make sure that it's measured off real nice and good. Okay, I'm going to add my egg that's been sitting at room temperature. Let's break that in there. And then I'm going to add a cup of flour. And I'm going to raise this up and let it start to mix. There we go. I'm mixing it so that all the other ingredients come together. And then after I get these mixed, I'm just going to add the remaining part of my flour. Okay, so let me make this stop so that I can scrape this off the side. back on the bed. One thing 
about these mixers they're really good to use but you really have to take your time and make sure everything is getting mixed in properly so let's get this mixed and then we'll add the rest of our flour okay it's set to beat for 30 seconds and then add the remaining of the flour which is three cups so I'm just going to add this in. And the rest of my flour. And the cool thing about this is the mixer will incorporate everything for you. So I'm going to add the rest of my flour in here. Like so. And then I'm going to start mixing it on low because if you don't, you have flour on the middle. So we're just going to let that continue to mix until it comes together. Let me show you what it's looking like right now. Let's mix it. So, let's see what it comes out to look like. Delicious. Okay, so it said to beat the bread in the mixer until this, the bowl, the dough pulled away from the side. So what I'm doing is I am greasing my bowl so that I can put my uh, dough in here to um, grease. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is let my bowl down. Let's lift this up from here. And as you can see, the dough has pulled away from the bowl on the side and it's all on the hook. So at this point, what I'm going to do is to scrape the ball of dough off of the hook, like so. And then I'm going to just put this into a bowl to relax and grease so that it can rise. So I'm just kind of shaping it to a bowl, a ball. Then what I'm gonna do is set it in a warm place, which is used to me the oven, either by the oven. I set it in a warm place and I'm gonna cover it so that it um, has a chance to rise. So let's see what happens. Okay, so this is my baking pan, and this is what I'm going to be baking my um, rolls in. So what I'm going to do is I've melted butter. I'm going to take butter and coat the pan so that when I put the biscuits, the, the rolls in, they don't stick. And I've checked them, and they, they're doing a very good job of um, rising, which is good because, like I said, we're making this together because I have never ever really been able to make um, yeast rolls. So this is a, this is not the first time I've tried it, but this is the first time that it's really been a good um, experience. So let's just keep this going and let's see what happens after we get ready to put them in because they have to. After you put them into your pan, they have to set another hour. So this is something that you could do for your Thanksgiving. You could do it and start it and go do something else and work on something else. And then you're not wasting all your time doing this. And the reason why I'm doing it tonight like this is because we're going to eat some. Well, anyway, so this is my pan. It's been um, coated in butter. So I'm just going to move the butter over a little bit there. And I've got like eight more minutes for my dough to be ready to punch down. So, let's wait those eight minutes. Okay, so let's look at the dough and see how it has risen from when I put it into the bowl. So, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take it and punch it down. 
so that it goes back down again. And then after that, I'm going to make balls out of these. It says to break up about 14 balls so that you can do it with hand. And I'm just going to shape them into uh, rolls like so. And then I'm going to put them back over there and let them raise for another hour. So, this is the way you shape the balls by hand. And there you go. So, I'm going to start putting these in. Let's do another one. Just break it off like so. And roll it. Because what you want is your dough to be smooth when you put it into your pan. So, that's what I'm doing. Let's get this one in. And see there's a smooth ball leave a little room for them to grow so i'm going to finish doing these and then i'll be back okay i just came back to show you that what i'm doing is to get the dough um nice and smooth bigger and you can cook these in a um i said you can cook them in a cast iron skillet if you like so what I'm doing is just taking the dough in and out so that it gets smooth and that you have a smooth dough. And then after you do that, you can just roll it into a ball and set it into your baking dish. Just like so. So as I said, this is my first time being, if I'm these bake up good, this will be my first time being successful at making Thanksgiving rolls. And I'm glad I have you guys along with me. Okay, so let's do this one. Sometimes I have a tendency to do things too small, so I think I have some small ones in there that I'm going to add to. This one's small. Okay, let's add some more to this one. And the only reason why I'm doing that is because I'm trying to get four, four, eight, sixteen done. And I have a little dough here that I don't want to actually, it says to eyeball it, I'm not good at that, so. Even if I come out with them um, nice and uh, round, that's fine with me. I'm just going to add more dough to these ones that are smaller. And this is, I'm telling you, you can buy all the rolls you want in the store. There's nothing like homemade rolls. Okay, so there's my smooth dough there. I think I can add some to this one. About that. So what I'm doing is just to get the dough smooth and filling it up that way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay these over there with a cover on them to uh, rest and rise. And then before I put them in the oven, I'm going to put butter over them to bake. A lot of people use egg wash and I'm just going to put butter. I mean, you can use what you want to use, but I'm just, I'm a butter person. And I can feel I'm already starting to rise with the one I picked up. So, I'll let you see what that looks like. 
Scrony. And then you don't have to worry about flowering either because it's a beautiful dough. It really is. Okay, so I buttered my dish. My rolls are in. I'm going to let you see what they look like. And what I'm going to do is set them over there, cover them, give them an hour to raise, and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So, the rolls are out of the oven. I am going to put some butter over them. And I want to thank you for coming with me on this journey because I'm telling you, I had never made good rolls before. It just never worked out for me, but this recipe seemed to work. I'm spreading butter. I might want to put more butter. It's too hot for me to hold with hands. So, oh, here they are. So, these are my Thanksgiving rolls right here. And this is what they came out looking like. They look really, really delicious. As I said, I've never done rolls before to come out. And you guys came along with me and helped me. Thank you. So let's try one of these babies. I can't break the bake the rolls and um, not try one. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is get a plate now. I have one out on the edge right here. And then look at the nice and fluffy. nice and fluffy. Mm. Let's open it up so you can see it. There it is. Beautifully cooked. I'm going to try it with some butter in it. Do I need help? No, it's just hot. Mm. Here. I'm with my fire department hand. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to put some butter on here. I haven't known that I could make rolls like this. I'm going to try making some for our part of the dinner. I'm going to put butter. I love butter. So, let's give it a taste. Mmm, man. The softness and the buttery um, taste of the butter and the butter and the, the bread is absolutely delicious. So, what I want you to do is to try these. If I can make them, you can. And thank you for joining me at Cook It Up. Let's cook it up and explore. And there's more recipes to come for Thanksgiving. So, get yourselves ready.